Good evening and thanks for joining us on yet another edition of uh, your favorite infotainment show, Theory 60 Degrees. Today, as usual, we have so, many, so much entertainment, information, and educative material for you out there. But I would like to begin with this quote from the great, great Chinua Achebe, which says, uh, the fact that we gather in the evening under the moonlight does not mean that each person cannot see the light from their compound, or the fact that we come to share a meal does not mean that each person cannot eat in their house houses. We simply do so because of the communal spirit that we share and because we are kinsmen. So that is to say, because you are here with us, that is why we are here too, because we have this mutual understanding that every Monday we have to meet to share so much material with you. And coming up today on Spotlight, we talk New Zealand and Islamophobia, the killing in New Zealand and the impact on the Muslim world at large. And on Scoop today, we look at Cristiano Ronaldo, the record man. How far can he go? At the age of 34, he's still in blistering form, and we are examining all that today. And for our stages page, we are taking a look at the role of nude dressing in the entertainment industry. What is the role of the nude, of nude dressing entertainment world today? We notice that in showbiz today, women tend to dress half naked if I may if I may see that way and so uh, that will usher us into a segment for talking point today uh, for talking point today it's true that we shall be observing the recent happening in Bamenda where uh, a lawyer reportedly dumped his girlfriend for uh, uh, a colleague it was a very, very, very tragic story that way. We shall be bringing that story to you in integrity, in integrality, and equally we shall be having guests in the house. It's true that some of them will be following the program along with us. We shall be having uh, a crew from the movie Ainui. It's the movie that is making wave in town the whole of the past weeks. And that movie launch is coming up. The crew shall be here one after the other, one person after the other, to talk us through the movie, to talk us through their roles, the challenges, and what that movie is contributing to the growth of present day society. So that is just the tip of an iceberg on board today on 360 Degrees. We take a breather, and after the break, we get rolling. At the role of that jingle, you know it's time for Spotlight. And Spotlight today, we are zooming in on the attacks in New Zealand that took away the lives of over 50 Muslim faithful. They were worshipping in a mosque in Church Town, New Zealand, when a gunman attacked the mosque and took away 50 lives. And he could have taken more lives, but for uh, the two Nigerian, uh, a Nigerian Imam and one other Muslim worshipper there who managed to trick and frighten the, the, the shooter away. And it's been talked about so much in the light of uh, is Islamophobia and what uh, could be the possible effects of such an attack on Islam as a whole. We know that um, 
the 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 is the Muslim press, if I may put it that way, if I may coin it that way, uh, has this little cold battle that is fighting out with uh, the Christian media or better still mainstream media, whereby the talk of the fact that. Uh, Islam, uh, Islamic worshippers, or better still, Muslims, are being termed, are being coined as uh, as uh, terrorists. Meanwhile, when uh, someone of mainstream society commits similar offense, uh, they are being called simply as gunmen or shooters. So this has been talked about in the past weeks, and uh, we shall be examining that today. Uh, and right now in the studio, we have new faces and uh, we are welcoming actresses from this movie that is being talked about. It's the talk of the town now in Yaoundé, Ayinwi, the movie entitled Ayinwi. We have two actresses with us here today. Good evening. Good evening, Divine. How are you doing? I'm good, and you? I'm okay. Good evening. Good evening. How are you doing? You're welcome to 360 degrees. Thank you. My it's pleasure. true that uh, I've been so used to uh, watching the trailer of the movie and uh, so used to the characters which are being much talked about that I often mix. I, I, I get confused between your real names and your, the, the, the names representing the roles you played. So maybe it's time for you to introduce yourself to our viewers. Yeah, yeah. My name is Stefan Kolo and I play the role of Auntie Claire. Okay. Yeah. And this is Akum Juliet. I play the role of Ainui in the movie Ainui. Wow, you play the role of Ainui, meaning that uh, the movie is carrying uh, your name, and yeah. that tells us something about the massive uh, role you're playing in the movie. So you're the central character. Sure. Okay. So what does it entail being central character in such a, a very much talked about movie? Uh, it's not really easy, but it depends. It, 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 it deals with hard work and going according to the direction of the, of, of the director and the producers and doing everything they want. Okay, and you remind us of your role again. <laughs> I play the part of Auntie Claire. Auntie Claire, but yeah. you're quite a young lady. <laughs> <laughs> I am. Um, actually, I was the younger sister of the late the late um my late brother the father of yeah Auntie. she's my auntie <laughs> <laughs> okay uh we, we are going to talk your role as actresses in this uh, very wonderful movie i in me what does it take for a young girl like you to incarnate the the the, the personality of an elderly person <laughs> okay first you know you have been living with elderly people you know how they behave so you know certain character when they give you a role, you go through it. Then you just imagine yourself in it as you fit yourself into the character and go along with it. Okay, yeah. and uh, we, we 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 certainly imagine that you faced some difficulties. Of course, of course, there will always be difficulties. Yeah, they will. You know, <clears throat> you're a young person, <laughs> and you have to behave like. Let me say, if 40 years old, somebody, and you have not yet reached that age, so you are just like imagining to be that person. You know, they say experience is best. So you're just imagining to be that person. In all, we try our best to suit. That means you go into the character. Okay. Yeah. And I imagine that you've been in the field for quite a while. If you could really incarnate to such a personality, for how long have you been acting, or when did you start? Actually, Ayumi is my first movie. Wow. Okay. Wow. Yeah, wow. it's my first movie. Ten months, nine yeah. In the movie industry. In the movie industry. Wow. I'm just new. <laughs> <laughs> new with uh, uh, the capacity to learn and pick up knowledge so fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we, we turn now to Ayumi. What does it feel like being the central character in a much talked about production as this? Everywhere in town we hear Ayinwi and here is the Ayinwi. What, <laughs> what does it feel like? The, 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 the launch is coming up. Wow, what, what will it feel like? How do you really feel being in the center of the whole action? It feels so good, like seriously. It feels so good. Like everywhere on the poster, it's your face, everywhere. You go anywhere, like I saw your face somewhere. This is 
then I'm like, it's me. Wow, it's so wonderful. Like seriously, it's really good. Wow, the the, the feeling is quite evident, and of yeah. course, it's very good. <laughs> so uh, we are going to talk about. Um, Islamophobia right now and uh, you all must have heard because actors too are very informed that uh, a Muslim a mosque was attacked in New Zealand and of course uh, 50 Muslims were killed by a gunman just because he doesn't think that they should be in that society and express their faith as they should express so you are all Christians I imagine Yes, I am. Do you sympathize with Muslims? Are you one of those who call Muslims terrorists and you, you have this bad uh, view of Muslims? No, 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 no. Actually, we are all humans. Okay. God created us. So I don't see why somebody should be killing another person because of the belief. In normal, in fact, let me go to the Bible. God has given us a choice, a choice of worship. You choose how you want to worship God. So, Muslim, no Muslim, Christian, no Christian, you don't have to kill somebody because the person is not going according to your ways, oh God. It's just a matter of choice. So, the earlier we start thinking about this, the better. Wow. It's a matter of choice. Yeah, that's that's great. So, uh, what does it feel like seeing Muslims, you may not be a Muslim, but seeing Muslims being prevented from practicing their faith? It's really pathetic, seriously. Like, it's just the same thing. Imagine we are Christians and Muslim. Muslims uh, come in here and they, they want us not to save God. It's kind of, because that is what we believe in. They cannot stop us. There is nothing they can do when that is actually what we believe in. So it's high time they came together, try to do something like work on each and everybody's belief. Like after the way I see this thing seriously, I think there is just one God. If you want to trace like from Muslim, there's kind of relationship between yes. the two and I don't really see any difference it's just the same so thing that we are just are. branches of the same tree yeah that's <laughs> it that's that's what I think wow so uh, we imagine that we have to preach unity unity between Christians Muslims there should be Buddhists. unity it is very necessary exactly Exactly, and uh, we could also blame the, 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 the public media out there because at times the media brands uh, those who are of the Muslim faith as some sort of uh, radical or, or very dangerous fellows. Yeah, but it is very, maybe because of the way they dress or the way they do their things because it is, when I, when I used to grow up as a kid, like I saw the Muslim like the order. It's not like part of human being. I just saw them like they are just kind of cruel, wicked. But when I when I came to Yaoundé, I got used to some of them. They are actually good people. So I don't see any reason why some people will stand and say this one, this one, or that. Wow, and that's exactly what we should be preaching. Are you married? <laughs> I guess no. I'm I guess I okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. That, that fits well for, for, for my next question. Did you get married to a Muslim who comes for your man? Oh, my Muslim. This thing is understanding now. <laughs> There's nothing as far as we understand each other. Okay. Hmm? There's nothing. Okay. So you're going to shun anything that family says to prevent you. So far as there's understanding, that's it. When, when, see, when there is love, hmm? I love conquers all. Lord. Hmm? There is nothing. Everything goes on smoothly. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> Inshallah. <laughs> exactly. Your Aisha from exactly. now. <laughs> so you have the opinion that we could breach cultural barriers, yeah. religious barriers, <coughs> for the sake As of love what? and understanding. Love. Exactly. That's it. We should use your lip And like the popular saying goes, you non fella force. Cameroon, for instance, is a secular society yeah. where we have different religions. Uh, in harmony together, Islam, Christianity, even African traditions, all of those are in harmony together. And uh, they can, the society can only move and progress if everybody is fine together. Yeah. yeah. So on the, on the screen, we see the poster of Ainui, and uh, the launching is coming up at Guiko uh, Palace Hotel. Which day is that? Saturday? Yeah, that's Saturday next week. Okay, with this very week, affordable. This week, okay, sorry. this week. Yeah. <laughs> and the price they are quite affordable. Hopefully, yeah. we shall we shall all make it. So, uh, you will stay with us. Of course, the program continues. You will stay with us. And after the break, we are going to talk football. And it's Cristiano Ronaldo on the platform.
Welcome back on board. As you may have seen at the close of our previous segment, there was a very, very beautiful poster on our screen. It is actually the poster of Ayinui, a wonderful, so much talked about movie that is coming up. The launch is coming up and we can't wait. We can't wait for that grand, grand, grand event which is to take place this 30th of March at 6 p.m. at Guiko Palace Hotel here in Yaoundé. On the platform with me right now, I have uh, the producer and director of this wonderful masterpiece. He goes by the name of Wecom Emmanuel. Good evening, sir. Good evening, Adi. How are you doing? I'm okay. I'm great. You're welcome to 360 Degrees with all the glow and all the positive energy that you bring with Ainu. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay. So, uh, you have a double role here. We imagine that to produce and to direct at the same time yeah. requires a mammoth effort. Yeah, that's true. That's true. And producing and directing is not as easy as it may sound because there are two major roles at the same time. Yeah, but I've been directing and I've, I've been producing for some time and with flexibility and okay. just con positioning your mind in the right, in the right sense, okay. we're able to achieve this. Okay. So I could wear the two two hats at the same time. Wow. Well, for the sake of our viewers, we are going to ask when you, you began directing or producing, or for how long have you been in the game? Okay, I've been I've been into the game since two, um, 2013. Okay. Yeah, but before then I was doing, um, you know, the passion will prompt you to do a lot of things, like walking in the quarters. I remember my first painting fall back in the days <laughs> that is what i started using to work and do graphics i would dare graphics i would dare a lot of things with my machine at home and after my degree program i thought it was as good i focus on this thing i love so i went to post on uh, i further studies yeah i did a lot of studies on research and equally i'm still researching wow. till now yeah, to be we, the, to we become never the best from learning yeah so since 2013 i engaged in music videos short comedy skits and movies Wow, yeah. wow. So we imagine that uh, you have other very beautiful productions aside at uni. Sure. Aside at uni, there are, there are other productions. We have comedy skits, like I said, which we, which we intend to relaunch. Last year, we released um, 13 episodes of them. Okay. Yeah. So after Ayinui, we're going to relaunch. It's a weekly release, and we have Survivor the movie. We have Ayinui. We have Upside Down, which is in the pipeline, and there wow. are a whole lot of them. Wow, quite remarkable. Yeah. Now we are going to talk Ayinui. What? Yeah new thing does it bring we know that cameroon uh the industry is true that the industry still has a long way to go yeah but sure there are so many productions out there so many movies be it in more reflecting modern day life yeah that's true life that's and true so on and so forth so when you sit as a producer and director yeah what new thing uh, are you bringing up with Ayinu? now what i have to say is everything about arts is about being original okay from the name itself you know we are going to the roots Africa, Ayinui. What does that mean? And Ayinui means only God knows. Okay. Only God knows. So getting back to the roots, we discover that in the modern society, despite the fact that things are evolving and some values are dropping, we still remain Africans. And some beliefs that tie to being African still try to prevail even in the modern day society. Okay. One of such beliefs is the discrimination against um, discrimination with the women with the female sex, okay. which is most often considered to be the weaker sex. Yes. So this this movie brings out some other strength of the woman. Okay. If you are girl watching me right now, you need to watch a movie to understand what you can do. So it brings out some sort of opening. It brings wow. out a blind, mind-blowing ideas that wow. can empower the girl child. And not just empowering the girl child, educate the other people who look down on the girl child and educate some other people who have decided to be useless people because it's a story that deals with the the the, the, the Ayinu herself the protagonist and we go with we attack other areas of life like um drug dealing education okay. and there are some comic figures there too so, so it's a pregnant film with a lot of information wow and uh, it's, it's quite coincidental because before coming to the studio i was reading so much on uh, nigerian female wow. writer chimamanda <laughs> chimamanda ngozi yeah a powerful woman yeah sure, sure who is sure. out there who writes literature to let women discover their potential yeah who sure. writes to empower women and let them know that uh, their place is not just uh, in the kitchen. childbearing or better Great. still in the kitchen and I actually read something very comic she met hillary clinton former yeah. presidential candidate in the yeah. u.s at a conference and uh, she confronted hillary clinton why because mm. she was 
um, she was confronting Hillary Clinton because on Hillary Clinton's bow in the level yeah. of her, her Twitter profile, she yeah. wrote, she began with wife, uh, grandma, mm -hmm. and so on, words like that. So Chimamanda <laughs> was like, come on. Does your husband begin his bow on Twitter with, with the word husband? No, he <laughs> sure. doesn't. Of course, sure. he's going to write president or better still former head of state. And he yeah. may not even mention anything. The husband any part husband. of it. So That's she's true. of the opinion that women should really present their, themselves in a different way, true. just like men do. And yeah. they should stop covering themselves behind the, yeah. the, the, the canopy of a mother, child bearer, and yeah, so on. Yeah, that's and so really forth. true. And that's one of the aspects we are bringing out with this movie. Okay. Because for so long time, women have been sleeping whereas the same women that are sleeping have a lot of potentials they can do a lot of things to even assist the men so this movie is like a stair up to the woman okay so maybe you talk us through just uh, the tip of an iceberg about the synopsis of the movie what does Ainui go through okay Ainui is a young girl who lost her dad and in the in the in the course of the whole thing her uncles had to inherit their properties according to to the tradition which is still practices of societies today and she had to make her way through her life Ayuni has a dream to become to go to school and become somebody important and useful in the society but with this all of these happenings the uncles believe the woman's place is in the kitchen so what happens to Ayuni? That is what we are going to discover. Okay, we imagine that uh, at, at the backdrop that is uh, the trailer of uh, Ayuni and from there, I can see the image quality is quite good. Yeah. 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 So, <laughs> <laughs> so what's, what's a producer's role in all this, if I may ask? Now, a producer makes sure that everything about the set is organized on time and he monitors everything about the, 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 the set itself. Okay. Preparing the, he ensures that the project runs smoothly from the technical to the directing, the, um, to the acting. Act, though the acting does a lot with, with, the, with the director. But the producer makes sure that everything works on the set smoothly. He makes good use of every available resource okay. to ensure the smooth running of so the project. So it's like the overseer of the project. Yeah, sure. Okay, if our technicians can ensure, maybe we have uh, a taste of uh, the trailer. Okay. Quite fascinating there. I'm almost <laughs> losing my breath well, going through the, the pain. <laughs> I can already feel the pain in the thriller, the yeah. intimidation, gossip, and disappointment. Yeah, so sure. at the end of the day, yeah. are people, does uh, empowerment uh, get vindicated? Does Ainui finally get appraised 
for being a woman? Does she re rediscover her potentials? Does she really situate herself where she's supposed to okay, be? Okay, now, Ainui gives a practical solution to what we are trying to present. Okay. Ainui is a person that finally makes the girl child or every person watching to understand the value of the girl child. Okay. So I will keep that in quotes until when the movie is <laughs> premiered so they can watch it and actually understand what happens to this Ainui lady. Wow. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. And what has been the response so far? We imagine that the trailer has been on yeah. various social media platforms and the poster. What has been the response so far? The response has been really massive because a lot of people are trying to discover what Ainui, what the, from the name, what is Ainui and the event itself. They really want to know more about it and they have been so positive regards the, the premiere. Yeah, the premiere, they have been very positive and a lot of people are, have confirmed their presence. Yeah, and all of them are excited to discover what we have to present. So wow. it has been very positive so far. Wow. Okay, we are going to come back to that. Maybe yeah. time for us to talk about um, somebody who is okay. equally very hardworking and you may see that person too as a model. Yeah. I used to tell everybody watching football that... Uh, these guys inspire us even out of what we watch. And we don't just watch football, for example, but they inspire us in our various uh, daily works of life. I'm talking about somebody called Cristiano Ronaldo. Do you watch football? Mm, the funny thing is I say I don't watch football. <laughs> You're one of the few boys who don't watch yeah, football. One of the very strange. few. Yeah. <laughs> but you've certainly heard a lot about Cristiano yeah. Ronaldo, the Portuguese player. Sure, I've heard about Cristiano and Ronaldo. And the that he, he's working. Yeah, sure, sure. I know we are very talking about player. a guy who is 34 years years of age at uh, oh. 34 a player's career is already in twilight mode yeah but this guy what he's still capable of doing at the, at the moment he's second top scorer in the italian football league we all saw the marvel you may not have watched oh. the game but you heard the whole year <laughs> on the town shouting yeah the night he knocked out atletico madrid yeah on league. social media too <laughs> <laughs> on social media you can escape that with three goals to his name and this guy that was his 52nd career hat tricks a hat trick means you score three goals in one game. Oh. So in his career, he has 52 hat tricks. So this guy is actually a machine. And I'll tell you a little story about him. Maybe you will live 360 degrees today, knowing so much football. Wow. Okay. Uh, when he was signing for Juventus, you know, before players sign into a new club, they go through medicals where you're yeah. checked to make they make sure that because as a player you're like a merchandise yeah. so the club that is buying you needs to check they scan your whole body to make sure that they are actually paying for what they want yeah and when this guy went through his medicals the doctors came out and said this guy has the corpulence he has the physical structure he has a system of an 18 year old <laughs> <laughs> wow <laughs> that means he has no fat in his body wow. he works a lot and of course that tells you uh, the reason why he has been in so much good form wow <laughs> so i think uh, as director and producer you may find such people as role models yeah sure 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 i believe in the art of everybody be it sports where, or whatever domain you find yourself as far as art and entertainment is concerned and i i, I always like people who work hard to be the best at their time see like somebody like cristiano ronaldo just at 34 is or at the peak of football in his domain for yeah. real and for all Ronaldo supporters out there, the Champions League continues, the magic of the competition continues, and the draws have been made, and Juventus will lock horns with Ajax of Amsterdam, while Football Club Barcelona will face, uh, Football Club Barcelona is going to face Manchester United, while Liverpool faces FC Porto, and of course Manchester City faces Tottenham. And at the level of the semi-finals, the winner between Liverpool and Porto is going to face the winner between Barcelona and Manchester United why the winner between uh, Juventus and Ajax is going to face the winner between Manchester City and Tottenham so we can imagine a semi-final Manchester City versus Juventus and Barcelona versus Liverpool so much entertainment coming up is there any team you're supporting maybe because of a brother or a friend Mm. Or anything you hate. <laughs> <laughs> For teams, uh, the, the, the team I can remember the most is Barcelona. Okay. And I, I got to like Barcelona because of Samuel Leto's influence. No, okay. I like Cameroonians. And the only matches I watch, like the, when, I, when I'm watching football, it should be Cameroon playing. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And you were happy this week that Cameroon Yeah. After some, the, time, after some time, we've, we've not celebrated so victory. Yeah. Good victory. Good one. Three goes Three. to zero. Yeah. Goes from... Uh, Christian Basogo, Clinton <laughs> J, and of course, um, who's the test scorer again? Um, 
yeah, it was a good victory, and the guys danced to their satisfaction. Yeah. <laughs> they shall be taking part in the African Cup of Nations that we would have been hosting, but but now it has been moved to Egypt. It will take place from June the 21st right up to July. Well, we shall take a breather, and then okay. we'll get the last segment of our show. You just stay with us. So after the break, our last segment, and then we close. Okay, we are now talking stages, and on stages today we are talking the place of nudity in entertainment. When we watch Ayinui, yeah, do we find nude images for any purpose? Um, there are no nude images in Ayinui. Okay. Yeah. Why did you? We know that in showbiz today, uh, some producers, directors tend to use nudity as yeah. a bait to capture viewers. Sure, nude, nude, nude art is a form of art which um. A lot of people have embraced for whatever reason they best know. Okay. Yeah, but for us, as in the, especially in the movie Ayinui, we're targeting the general public. So every child, every adolescent, every adult to every old person can watch it without any complex. You know, with nude arts, you have some restrictions. Okay. So because of our target, we decided to do it plain with okay. positive message that has no harm on the mind. And uh, what is your take when you watch music videos, clips, uh, portraying a lot of uh, uh, nudity ladies exposing their tummies like Blanche Bailly doing there? What's your take about all that? On a personal note, I don't always admire it that much. Yeah, on a personal note, I don't admire it. But defining their arts, they could have a better justification. But exactly. me, as a person, I don't usually admire because. So when you <laughs> see it, you zap. <laughs> when I see it, if I, it depends. If I'm like, if I love the music. Or you, when you're with children, you zap. Yeah, you know, when I when I'm with children, I definitely zap. Yeah. <laughs> Well, so um, uh, that is what we are observing today at the level of uh, stages. But we'll come back to Ayinui. Tell us okay. about the launching. What do we expect? Okay, the Ayinui movie premiere, the launch in itself, is going to be a night full of amazing surprises. Because on that night, we have um, music. There will be music presentation from a lot of artists. We have Don Cheule. Okay. Don Cheule will be there. We have Chris Wheel. There are a whole lot of them. And we have two surprise guest artists that are going to trigger you. Wow, surprise yeah, guest artists. Yeah, we kept them, two of them wow, surprised. Wow. Are they ladies or men? Lady and a man. Wow, 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 wow. I have my yeah. favorite artists on my mind, but I'm not going to let the cat out of the bag because... <laughs> sure, they are surprise that, artists. I may be guessing already the, the right person who is going to be yeah, the yeah. to come uh, this weekend. Sure, sure. So, it's going to be a wonderful night. And we probably have comedy. Yeah. Board, yeah, we have comedians who will be making you laugh, you know. Laughing is a therapy. Comedy is a, is a, is a, is a therapy. It cures a lot of sickness. Okay. So if you have and we are drawing to the end. We are drawing to the end maybe you give us indications on how to get okay great tickets. great those of you who are watching us right now want to grab your ticket you can get either by mobile money on the number six seven seven zero two four two zero six six seven seven zero two four two zero six you can get us you can give us a call and purchase a ticket or reserve via mobile money or you can get to the studio at Amumez and BMRC and give us a call as well you get to the studio you get your tickets a hard copy or you can come at the event itself to get your copy but if you don't want to get congested on a gate trying to purchase ticket you just you can just purchase by mobile money or give us a call okay. and it's going to take place at Giko Palace Hotel it's at Monte Chapelle Obili just at Monte Chapelle Obili the white story time? building as from 6 p.m. but red carpet begins from 5 p.m. no okay. an event like this comes with red carpet exactly and it begins from 5 p.m. red carpet and then the event itself starts from 6 p.m. Wow, quite impressive there. And of course, I repeat the number 677 4206. And of course, you can come at the event itself. We know most of you Cameroonians like to do things at the dying <laughs> moment. You can just stop by at Greco Palace that evening yeah. from 5 p.m. And of course, you shall be well received. Well, because of time, we shall only probe into the story coming from Bamenda uh, next week. and. Uh, it's all for a good reason because Ainmi was here and we have enjoyed the spectacle. We've seen the trailer and we can expect <laughs> so much from that. And it comes at a time when women are really emancipating for their rights. Yeah. When even the United Nations is trying to uh, attain a certain goal by 2050, I think, is it 2050? The 
2030, the goal 50-50, whereby men and women enjoy equal rights and opportunities in society. So yeah. a movie such as Ainui, I think yeah. it should even be marketed even beyond Cameroon. Yeah, sure. To get in contact with stakeholders who are trying to emancipate for yeah. women's rights. We're really working towards that and targeting that. Okay, maybe yeah. a last word to our viewers. Okay, our viewers, I want to just say, I'm inviting you all, just be there on the 30th at from 5 p.m. You get to know more about E-Media Empire. You get to know more about the movie. And everybody's invited. Wow, 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 wow. And of course, we shall be there for that great moment. Well, thank you very much, Emmanuel, for making it a day today. It's a pleasure. Okay, <laughs> and we wish you the best of success in your career. Oh. And of course, the career of your whole uh, movie production. House. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, dear viewers, hopefully you, you enjoyed everything on the show today. It is here. We call it quit. Hoping that you take the rendezvous with us same time next week on the same channel with much more entertainment to come and it's here we say kum shelele movie premiere happening in yawundi the capital city of cameroon e media empire presents to you the grand launch and movie premiere of ayinui the movie a movie that is going to blow your mind featuring great cast such as balon joseph akum juliet ivy gold Colonel stephanie atuma vivian bangs banta lucia pry remy bell and lots more ayinui movie premiere and grand launch is going to take place at Giko palace hotel monte chapelle obili on saturday the 30th of march 2000 2019 as from 6 p.m. prompt but take note the red carpet begins as from 5 p.m. prompt Ayinwe movie premiere this program is going to feature great artists and comedians that will keep you entertained during the night Ayinwe movie premiere Aloga the Oracle Tim Sachs with two surprise guest artists would be there don't forget Saturday the 30th of March 2019 at Giko Palace Hotel Monte Chapelle Obili as from 6 p.m. prompt the Ayinwe movie premiere take note red carpet begins as from 5 p.m. The program is going to be hosted by Jerry Mba and Charisma Esther Patrick Asongani with Pass Betty as your guest host. For more inquiries, reservations, and ticket purchase, you can contact the numbers 677-02-4206, 677-02-4206, or 699-308-601. You can equally purchase your ticket via MTN Mobile Money on the number 677-02-4206, or via Orange Money on the number 699-308. 8601 Ayinu movie premiere a night you can't afford to miss What can I do? Ah uh.